We've been participating in Road Scholar programs since 2006, and we've enjoyed each and every one of them. In the first winter after my retirement, we went on six uh, Road Scholar programs, two in Florida, two in Arizona, two in California. Our total now is up to 15. I like the fact that you have someone who is an expert in the field and they give you information as you go along. It's not just like reading a guidebook and trying to figure it out for yourself. And somebody else does all the scheduling and driving. <laughs> That's big. <laughs> I'm General James Oversaw. Let me take you on a journey with Road Scholar. The instructors we've had throughout the Road Scholar programs have all been excellent. We have had historic reenactors and they have been phenomenal. They show up in period costume. They are very well versed on the period or the program or the person they're representing. And it gives you a very personal image of the time. And it also makes it more believable and you remember the things that you heard. They're delightful. They're delightful stories to tell at dinner parties and over drinks with friends. It's just it's just a really neat experience. Paul has been wonderful. He's obviously completely knowledgeable. I like that he is from this area, grew up here, and as a 14th generation Savannian, I think, as he calls himself. To me, that just adds a lot of flavor. Being a female who's lived alone for years and getting older, I'm pretty cautious about where I go and, and when I go places, but I've never worried about safety on any of the trips I've taken. I did travel alone on this trip. This is also, in addition to being my first road scholar trip, the first trip that I've ever taken alone. I did have some trepidations about that, but they have all been unfounded. Uh, I have felt totally and completely safe, totally and completely welcomed by the group. Um, so I would have no qualms about doing this again as a single woman. What's really wonderful about Road Scholar is the uh, types of people that they attract. They're generally people who like to learn. I think the best part of this program so far, um, in addition to just being in beautiful Savannah, is really meeting all the different people. The people that you travel with are the people that are interested in the same sort of things that you're interested in. So it's, it's a sharing experience. Mike and Cheryl Hagen from Yarrington, Nevada and Las Vegas. We are uh, John and Mary Hagen from South Bend, Indiana. And these are two are brothers. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, this one is the brother of me. No. <laughs> and he's older. <laughs> Let's not make him cut too much of this. <laughs> we tend to pick the uh, programs that combine history, local culture, nature studies and a variety of activities and uh, we, we've thoroughly enjoyed it. We meet some great people and uh, you can jump in anytime. <laughs> you can stop talking. Okay. <laughs> you see it seems to me what we've said here is it isn't Savannah, it isn't a building, it's the people that can inform us about that. Mm -hmm. right. You're not just going to a town and walking around and wondering what you should be doing. You're actually living the town. Mm -hmm.